Okay everyone, welcome back to Hearthstone. These cards have changed. Evocation now costs 2 mana, and Astromancer Solarian only has plus 1 spell damage, not plus 2. I am thinking that's what that is, because I'm pretty sure Shuffle Solarian Prime into your deck is the same. So... And here's what I was just about to talk about. New mode available, duels. Oh! Welcome to the madness at the Dark Moon Fair. Celias Dark Moon, seven mana four four. Battlecry, choose a direction to rotate all minions. Oh God, that! If you ever played one of the solo adventure dungeons, you got to verse a merigo round at one point, and that would rotate all of your minions. So essentially, your rightmost minion would go to your opponent. Your opponent's rightmost minion would go to you and then all of them kind of shuffle along to the right a bit. So, that's gonna be an interesting legendary to verse. And I guess positioning will matter a lot more knowing that this is now given to everyone. So you're gonna try and uh, essentially place all of your good cards in the middle rather than on the sides just in case this guy gets played, but I doubt it will get played very much because it's just too ridiculous a card to pre predict. So, can we actually play the uh, the duels? Is it? I presume it's a mode. Grow your deck, collect treasure, win duels. Can I actually do this? Or is this like a pay to play early? Oh no, we might be able to do this. Choose a hero, forge your deck, then power it up in between battles. Rating resets in less than a month. Okay, so if we're allowed to. Early access, casual duel, heroic duel, coming soon, battle for rewards. Can I actually do this? Yeah, okay, I thought as much. Okay, so $54 for early access. I'd rather wait until it comes out for free. But essentially what I've heard from duels is like, choose a hero, forge your deck, then power it up between battles. I'm pretty sure it means choose your hero, kind of like an arena run. Forge your deck is basically craft your deck from your own cards. Then power it up between battles means like you can get treasures like you would in a solo adventure and you're able to put them in your deck but the catch obviously is that everybody you verse will also have treasures. So, you know, it, it's kind of like a spicy sort of duel between you and another player but uh, treasures are involved. So, we're gonna see what the weekly tavern brawl is. What is this? The Haunted Carousel. The Headless Horseman has cursed the carousel. Choose a class to get a random deck and climb around his haunted time-shifted dread steeds. At the end of each turn, all minions will rotate. So here's this will give you a pretty good idea of what the uh, new card will do in terms of uh, rotation. So we're going to play Rexar. Just because we completed his uh, sort of heroic... Uh, book. What was it? Book of Heroes? Just because we completed that, and I usually start off with Jaina. Just because of the hero power, but I'm feeling I'm feeling like Rexar is a good pick here. So if you don't know how to play with a sort of rotating board, essentially. Oh, okay, this is a weird deck. versus Well, I guess I guess we'll I guess we'll, this, it'll be easier to show you guys. All right, let's get rid of you three. Please, cheap cards. Yeah, that's decent. Okay. We've got pretty good curve, we just have to skip turn one if we don't get a one cost. Oh what? Oh, yes, of course. Counterclockwise to the right. So essentially this'll show you. So at the end of this guy's turn, he'll get my dread steed, I'll get his, but we'll essentially have the same board so it doesn't really matter. Just like that. Yep. So it even gives you little directional arrows to help you out. So essentially, if I attack both my dread steeds into his, not much will change. So I'm just going to punch him in the face. Because that's my plan as hunter. So obviously nothing really changes when there's four of the same minion on the boards. But, I guess once you start throwing new cards into the mix, hopefully he plays it on his right over here. Well, on his right, my left so that uh, whatever he plays, I get. So essentially, what we want to be doing is playing everything on our left. Yeah, okay, so he's, he's smart enough to realize that at least. 
very good for him. So now he's got a dread steed and it's shifted positions in between now. Um, we do kind of want phase stalker, but at the same time, what does this do? Summon two two one spiders. If you discard this trigger, it's death. So it's not really much of a threat. So we'll just attack face again, and we'll get it next turn, which will be quite intriguing. I wonder if he'll actually do any trading here, because if he attacks face, nothing's going to happen. Oh, he was prepared for something to happen. Okay, he's thinking about what to spend his I mana on. Like my Intriguing. He didn't put that over here to preserve his death rattle. But you'll, you'll slowly see how this works. Um, give all death rattle minions in my hand, plus one, plus one. I suppose I could. Let's do that. So essentially now, what could happen... Ooh, actually, I have an idea. So, we're going to trade into this. Never mind, that did not happen the way I wanted it to. Okay, so pretty much he's going to... Never mind, he was not going to do what I thought he was going to do. If I were him, I would have traded... Oh, never mind, that wouldn't have worked. Fair play. I was going to say trade both into that guy so you can steal this guy at the end of the turn. But, it would have summoned more things in the way. Oh! Ah, I see. So he's trying to set this death rattle off for him by giving it to me. I suppose it could make him sort of overdraw. Hmm... What to do? Let's go with this. Really? There's no more secrets in my deck? Are you kidding me? Hmm. Do we want two, two one spiders? Yeah, why not? I think eventually it's just gonna be whoever's got the bigger board, and at this point in time, I do. So, he can either trade all four of his attacks into his stupid chest to draw two more cards, which I presume was what he was trying to do. Ooh, okay, this is good for me. If he takes out my 0-2 as well, oh no, it'll get traded off next turn, which will be great for me, because then I could trade in my dreads... Nope, I can't, never mind. God damn! With these dread steeds on the board, it makes it a lot more difficult to uh, predict what's going to happen next. I guess. Let's go. Let's get the taunt. Because taunt's pretty good at this, and we can just trade all of our dread steeds in. It really doesn't matter. And then hopefully we'll be able to take advantage of that draw two cards, because he doesn't seem to care. Now, this is the last turn he'll have to get it, so he's probably going to trade into it. Oh wait, no he can't. I just put a taunt up. Where is my head today? It's not where I usually leave it. Hmm. Indeed, I do have Charge and Emperor Thorison. See, that's the, that's the tricky thing about this game mode. If your opponent plays Emperor Thorson, you either want to kill it, or you want to kill everything next to it so that it comes to you and works for you. It is very difficult otherwise to... Uh, really? That seems like a bit of a waste, but fair. Fair enough. Yeah, I'd definitely say that was a pretty big waste on his part. He doesn't have any secrets though, so Phase Stalker really doesn't help him. Which is all fine by me. Do we care about two cards? Might be good. We'll take advantage of his own card. Oh wait, what? Was that him draw two cards? Hold on. 
Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm a very big idiot. <laughs> Damn it, I could have used play dead on that. I thought it was your opponent draws two cards. So I killed it off thinking, yeah, I'll get the two cards. God damn it. Oh well. It was big and annoying. Come on, play a spell. You know you want to. Let the pain speak Ooh. to me. Rotating. Not bad, not bad. Thank you. Well, I don't know if that'll be good or not. Um Chugga Chugga. Mmm, we don't have lethal yet. Ooh, hello, Mukla. I am excited to see you. Mukla could change pretty much everything about this game. Dun, 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 dun. So essentially, these time shift dread steeds are a lot more different than the regular ones because it's not at the end of your turn. It's just summon another dread steed, so these are kind of permanent blockers. So as long as your minions are hiding behind a dread steed, like this is, he can never get my burgly bully until he silences this. Because it'll just keep summoning it exactly where it is. Same with this one. So. Ordinarily, Dreadsteed would be summoned at the end of the turn that it died, and it would be summoned at the far right, which you could have played around with a little bit here, but these time shift ones seem to just summon it immediately and at the current position where it died. So it's good to keep that in mind when you're versing your opponent. Gotta go fast. Who are you? Nemzy or Sonic? Okay. Hang on, I started with the coin. You can't be going fast. That's not too great for you. I think I've won this. In fact, I'm fairly certain. So, 4, 5, 6 damage for me. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Beautiful. So, GG. Well played. Exact lethal. Oh, come on. You didn't even let me swing with my last guy. It's fair enough, though. You probably just want to get your pack and leave. Hey, starving buzzard gold. And a pack. Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh, no. We were so close. Oh, well. We can do it in the next one. So, that was... What was that? The haunted carousel or something? Is that what that was called? I don't know why it's called a carousel. I've always called it a merry-go-round. Do you guys call it carousel or merry-go-round? I don't know. We call it merry-go-round in Australia, I'm pretty sure. Alright, we got a sea giant, mad bomber. In okay, overall, pretty good cards. Maybe not you. Um, but yeah, that was... The Haunted Carousel. Yeah, okay. So, I've pretty much told you everything that I have thought of in terms of tips and tricks. But uh, yeah, essentially, watch out for the Dread Steeds, they're not their usual effect. And obviously, your cards will be rotating to your friend, so, or your opponent, friend. Depends who you verse. Um, so, your card on the far right will go. The Dread Steeds can act as little stoppers or buffers so that you can keep your minions at least for another turn. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Now, go kick some ass in the ha Haunted Carousel. See you guys in the next one.